Hi everyone, this is Lothar and I have another quick video on Filer and iOS 10. You may have seen some of my other recent videos recently around iPrint and iOS 10. And it was during that video that I realized that you could in fact do something with iOS 10 that a lot of customers have been asking for, and that is to save to a PDF. A lot of times when talking to customers about iPrint, one of the things they want to do is save to PDF, and it turns out that Apple has actually integrated that directly into iOS 10. So this video, I'm going to show you how to do that, and then how to save that PDF file into Filer. Okay, so as I mentioned, I do get some requests from customers every now and then to print to a PDF. It is not something that iPrint can do, but with the recent update to iOS 10, Apple has actually added that feature. It allows you to redirect an AirPrint print job and send it somewhere else. So in this case, we're going to send it as a PDF into Filer. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to our iPad and open our email. And you'll see that we have an email from Antique about what's new in Filer 2.0. Now we're going to go ahead and print that as if we were going to print it via AirPrint. The new iOS 10 AirPrint offers a print preview so we can actually see what the document looks like before we print it. But what we're going to do is pinch to zoom and make this bigger so that we can see it full screen. Then we simply select Open In, and you can see that Filer is one of the options that we have available to us. Filer will load, and then you have your choice about where you want to save the document to. You can also rename the document, so that's what we're going to do here. Instead of using the subject line of the email, we're going to call it something a little bit more meaningful um, so that we can quickly identify it. So once we select our name, and we can just say Upload, and it will be uploaded to Filer as a PDF. So let's back all the way out of this. Let's go back to Mail, close the Previewer, close the Mail message, go back to the home screen and restart Filer to take a look at what we actually saved here. So if you recall, I ended up saving that file as filer2.pdf in My Files. So let's go to My Files, scroll down, and find that file. When we click on the Previewer, you'll see that there is in fact a PDF file there, and I can make that full screen so that you can see everything. But this is essentially my email printed out as a PDF file that I now have saved inside of my Filer My Documents. If I wanted to, now I could simply open in and pass this document into something else. I could, using Filer, share this with somebody else. Whatever I wanted to, I can now do as a PDF document. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Again, it's not something new that is in Filer, but it's something new that came to Filer as a result of the updates that Apple did to iOS 10. Thank you.